Hello everybody, this is Granny. I hope that you'll all want to listen to my stories. Listen to Granny and her friends, this is called. And there'll be lots of different stories for, for you to listen to. If you can be on your mummy or daddy's knee, that's lovely. If you can't, then just settle yourself down, sit comfortably and we'll begin. I hope you enjoy them. Take care, all of you, and um, we'll be seeing you. Lots of love. Bye. This story is called Bears in the Night. And it's by Stan and Jan Berenstain. And for parents and carers, it's a picture lion published by Collins. And this is the first picture Mummy Bear has done a lot of work putting all her little baby bears to bed and she's going out thinking, oh, thank goodness, I can have a bit of a rest now. She's got something like a ball in her hand. I'm not quite sure about that. Anyway, she thinks they're going to sleep. But are they? In bed, it says. And what can they hear? To wit, to woo. None of them have got their eyes closed. They're all listening to that sound. And the bravest one says, Come on, chaps, let's go. Out of bed. Look, he's beckoning them to come. Look, with his, with his um, paw. And he takes the lantern, which was hanging on that hook, out of bed, to the window, at the window. Look, they're all coming out after him. He's pretty brave. Out of the window. Look, oh my goodness. They've got their home in a tree and they're going to climb out onto the roof. And the moon is having a good look at what's going on. Out of the window, down the tree. That's a sort of a canopy, I don't know, for keeping people dry underneath. Down the tree he goes with his lantern. Out of the window, down the tree, over the wall. And he's saying, come on, chaps, let's be doing it. And the moon is looking on. Over the wall, under the bridge, under the bridge, around the lake. Under the bridge, around the lake, between the rocks. And now another one is saying, come on, come on. They're all following on this very brave one who's gone between the rocks. And where is he now? In the wood, through the woods. And there's one looking. He doesn't know if he's going to be able to make it, but I think he will. Out of the window, down the tree, over the wall, under the bridge, around the lake, between the rocks, through the woods. He's still carrying on. <gasps> Up Spook Hill. It's a very steep hill. The moon is looking on. He's looking pretty scared. And who's that at the top? We know who it is, don't we? It's the wise owl. And he says, he doesn't want to be disturbed in the night, and he says, do it, do! <gasps> the little bear is so scared. Can you see he's jumped up? You can see how high, high he's jumped, and he's going to turn around and go back down Spook Hill, through the woods, between the rocks, around the lake, under the bridge, over the wall, up the tree... In the window! My goodness, yes, they're going back really quickly. Back in bed. There they all are, look. This one looks he's like he's really going to put his head right under the covers. He's still got the light, though. And what can they hear? Do it, do woo! But are they going out this time? No, they're not. There they are, all fast asleep. And there's Mummy Bear downstairs in her rocking chair doing her sewing. 
She didn't know any of that was going on at all. Night, night, little bears. Night, night, mummy bear. And that's the end of the story for today. <laughs>